Not attempt any of this at home because, well, we we kind of practice every day and we try really hard and we, we roll the protective gear and sometimes accidents happen. I'm out front of the Santa Monica Hospital, the emergency center, uh, a little fracture to the jaw, uh, a little fracture to the wrist, uh, uh, seven stitches in the chin, and a little bit of bruising on the liver and cuts in there. Calculated risks, taking responsibility for yourself. I think that's the major message that we want to we want to put out for you. It's hardcore, man. It's what everyone's doing, man. You're jumping off a roof, jumping over five hydrant there, boom, bam, boom, bam, bam, off the roof, bam, tweaking around like a guy. Man, that's what it's all about.
both know Brooke is going to be right now. Okay, we both know he's going to get worked. Yet we let him do it. What did I say? What did I say? Our own Joseph, two of the new school, they're wearing anti rocket systems. Well, what we're using is small wheels because what's happened, especially with someone like Joseph and myself, we have the smaller feet, so the smaller wheelbase. We need as much space as we can get uh, right here in the center so that we can grind. Hi, uh, I'm Mark Heineken. I'm from Holland. I'm a Dutch skater. Max growing up on 12 foot high ramps and comes here. Well, kind of cuts loose every now and then. Mark, uh, just tell us, just quietly, you're wearing a new skate there and kind of incorporates some of the new features required today in inline skating. Okay, well, one thing hard wheels, wheels break, wheels suck. It's a killer, basically. Um, Frame's hard, doesn't break. Uh, rivets pop out though. Um, that's basically it. I think uh, stuff needs to be tough. Skating's tough, that's what it's all about. Why well, look at myself? Present in the mirror, it's asking me, asking me why I lie to myself. What's the meaning of the terrain? They're standing there, they're not... Yeah, I'm sorry, but 
You okay? You know, more and more we're starting to find that the corporations that produce uh, materials for our skates aren't keeping up with the, the times. They're not making stuff that can take what we dish out. Subsequently, the little kids pay all their hard-earned pocket money and then it just breaks on them. Get you together. Make something that doesn't break in an hour. My name is Joseph Ritchie, and I'm 12 years old. Laid back Japan, tweak it out, get in burnt. Edwards, do you have your 50 to 60 mil wheels? No. Is your rail at least two inches wide? No. Uh, do you have a slider bar? Maybe you could use the East Coast uh, skate skateboard rails cut down? No. Uh, do you have a real rail? No. Well, we're going to have to make do here at, at the backyard ramp. We're going we're gonna to approach the rail with moderate speed. Focus on your landing, Chris. It'll be about three to five feet from the top of the rail. Have you focused? I'm there. Your front should, your front foot should find the rail first. Oh. Okay, and your back foot, your back foot should land dragging. Dragging? Land dragging. Just drag it. <laughs> At this point, both feet Hello. should be sliding between the second and third wheels. Oh, oh busted. Okay. Slide to the end of the rail. Uh, slide, damn it! <laughs> Wait, now you can't spot your landing and let your legs absorb the shock as you make contact. Oh. Well, he made contact. Yes, yes. But wait, no, he's going to make contact now. Whoa! So, there you go, the A to Z. If you're out there, if you've, you've seen those nasty little handrails, you don't need them. If you've got a broom, a backyard ramp, and, uh, well, just, it's go a little elbow pad there. You can, you can do all the rails, have all the fun, and the safety of your own home.
five forty, you have to do it sideways. Good. There you go. See? Oh. I told you. Now that was sideways. That was nice. Listen, I have a pack because this is really important. I'm gonna put the chili pepper right there. It's it's very rare that these kind of skaters get together and have the strength and the courage. <clears throat> say, hey, I'm gonna try something new. New, yeah. I'm gonna do something that I didn't do yesterday. I'm gonna do something today that's new, that's bold, and God darn it, I'm gonna try it and like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, can we say that? I'm gonna try it and like it. I'm gonna, hell, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna like it. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're all gonna, wait, two people write it out or we die, it's fine. No, we're here together. Yeah, that's right. Easy now. What's up? Chris Mitchell scoring a 4.0 on the back side of the rail. That's pretty high. Uh, into the ivy. Behind him. Uh, oh. Oh. oh, the oh, ballet uh, styling. Later on, we're going to be doing a balancing beam act, which is actually reminiscent of uh, gymnastics. Those of you that caught uh, in, uh, where was it? Uh, Barcelona, I'm sorry. The earlier uh, balancing beam acts there back in Barcelona last year. We're going to be implementing actually a balancing beam, um, uneven parallel bars, and integrate that into rail uh, riding, if you can believe it. So uh, definitely stay tuned because more ramps and rail. Oh, oh, oh. Make sure I'm okay, because I could be very stunned. I mean, I hit my head. Are you okay? I don't know. A bald spot. It's you got you. horns coming out of your head. Arlo Weisenberg, after a hideous injury pat, you think he's going to come back from that? I don't know. I saw Arlo last year, really at the preliminaries. He sustained a couple injuries. And coming off those injuries, he's been training hard for uh, a good solid six months now. So uh, uh, the rail and ramp uh, time trials, Arlo proved well he's in the preliminaries. We'll so we'll see, see how, how he does it. now. Oh! oh. Mitchell's feeling the pressure. He sees Alla go down, Definitely. come back with the strongest message. rail ride lead. Hey, I, agree I have more, a message bro. for kids, man. The rail took my wheel, hit my <clears throat> head on the stairs. Never let the rail own you. I own that rail. <clears throat> yeah, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Good. Yeah, 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 baby! I got my leg no split leader. over the rail. <laughs> And next thing I knew, I hit my head on one of the bottom of the steps. Yes. And there he goes, folks, on an A-frame ride, cruising down the pipe. And he's got the salt water spitting in his face. And he's slashing. And he's bashing. And that's right, folks. And he's doing it. And what's more amazing, he's an Escondido. Yes, Escondido never done before. Keep the way. Nitro! Nitro! What?
All you have to do is make sure you get a good stance when you jump on it. And just oh, hang on for the ride. You want to go surfing on your bed? Arlo and Fisher. Put it in the corner. It's too neat. There we go. Now just give us that all-American look. Yes, that was great! Brilliant. Ready? Oh my god. This is great. This is brilliant. Can we get together here, guys? Sit and easy. I like it. Aaron, you gotta back out of the way. Yeah, how about Can't you? Can't be in the shot. It won't look good. It won't look real. All right. Boys here back. You're just gonna be run, the star. run away, run away! Go. Oh, br oh, yeah. Brilliant, so Carlo. Good. Brilliant. Check's in the mail. I'm mailing it right now. Remote? I'm gonna go put a stamp on it right now. Okay, Arlo, you're the best. You're number one, baby. Bye bye now, Mr. Eisenberg. Never will I use Chris Edwards. Chris who? That's what I say. Wait, Craig, I'm stuck. Isn't someone gonna help me down? Help! Oh, Man air, rocket air, method air, shoot on McSwiss, don't be the fish. Okay, got it. Mute air. Japan air. Cross rocket air. Method air. Judo McTwist. <laughs> Your ankle? Yep. Son of a bitch. Okay, man, I'll come down. Ah! Son of a bitch.
Oi. Bad chin. Uh, now, what? Why'd you go for the belly today? Uh, to protect the sound equipment. Okay. As I jerked it down the hill. We got a little wrap on the hand here. What's this? This would be a fractured uh, pinky. A fractured pinky. <laughs> Backflips are bad. It's just another case, you know, backflips. Backflips are good if you're tweaking them, but what he had done was laid out. And that's where he went wrong. Just another day in the life of a skater.
I was born ready. Come on. Who do you want? Get this. Get this. Oh. The, the sport of inline skating is fun, but it's important to exercise safety along with it in order to have a good experience. Oh! <laughs> I recommend protective gear, especially for beginners. You, did you film it? Did you? Yes. <sighs> okay, quit filming. When trying new stunts, learning new tricks. At all times when skating downhill and in traffic, it's very important to wear a helmet. <laughs> Although inline skating has become a, a big business now with associations pushing safety and rules and organizations, the people who are really creating the, the excitement out there and really bringing the sport to another level are a select group of individuals who, who through the obsession with their sport are pushing it to the limits. Can you turn the sound up?
I hate it when you like just start your chair and you slam on the ramp. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. Oh, I just have to quit. Have you ever left a little blood in the fence? Oh, yes. That is embarrassing. <laughs> Backyard radical inline bird barbecue. <laughs> We're calling it love skating. We don't care who you are. We don't care where you're from. We just, we just want to see you. We just want to, we want to love you. We want to hold you. You talk way too much. I talk way too much. You hear that, Bob? You know what that sound is? That's synthetic metal. That's not a Senate part. That's not the kind of thing we make at Senate. They've been passing that off on us all this time. You thought it was metal, didn't you? I thought it Throw was metal. Throw it away! Hey! Throw the Senate wheel! Why pay more? That's what I said. I was out there inline skating every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, breaking things, breaking bearings, spacers, wheels, that kind of stuff. That's why I started Senate. Wow. And. and the advantages. I well, the advantages are really, uh, it's, it's, it's really to each his own with the wheels, the bearings. It's a component system. Somebody can use it to any, actually, to any effort or actually means that they, that person wants to utilize Senate utensils. It's, it's amazing what you can take and capitalize on. That's what skating, that's what inline skating is all about, is taking something and capitalizing on it. And that's what I did. You're telling me that they cost less, but they do more. That's right, they cost less and they do more, and that's why we get it out to the consumer the way we do.